Okay, so the second thing I wanted to share today was um, as I've kind of have gone through this whole process of getting back into working on being healthy, really because my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, uh, I came across some verses in the Bible that was like, oof, okay, Lord. <laughs> um, and so with overeating, it's often can be counted as being gluttonous. And so if you look up in the original language what the word glutton means, it means vile. And the Bible actually says to stay away from people who are drunkards and gluttonous. And so that's like, whew, okay, something's gotta change. And then I was even looking more into it and there was um, a sign in the Bible that was described as being rebellious. And it was says that he was rebellious. He was also a drunkard and a glutton. And if you know that the Bible also says that rebellion is witchcraft before the Lord. And I thought to myself when I read that, I was like, oh, okay, God, do something in me. Set me free from this overeating that I've been doing most of my life. Because as a Christian, I wouldn't go out and entertain any kind of witchcraft or anything like that. However, rebellion is as witchcraft to the Lord. And so that means that I need to make sure that what I'm doing is not in rebellion to the standard that God has set for us. We're not meant to be overeating. We're meant to know what it is to be satisfied. We're not meant to be overfull. We're not meant to be under, like we're meant to be without lack. And so that is just something that has really captured my heart and it's like, okay, Lord, like this is something that I'm not going to allow in my life anymore. And I pray that if you are someone who is similar, has a similar story, that you would know the freedom that you have by the blood of Jesus, that you would also have that heart decision that says, no more am I going to allow this in my life because it is not something that God has for you. It is not something that God wants for you. He wants you to be satisfied and to know that your satisfaction comes from his word and who he is because he truly is the one who satisfies. So I pray this has blessed you today. Have a great day.